Hello and welcome to this Map Pro 4 screencast. Today I'm going to be talking about the Map Pro Editor. Okay, so uh, you can reach the editor here on the top toolbar. And uh, if you're not using the top toolbar, you can also uh, uh, reach the Map Pro Editor lower. Uh, what it's going to do is it's going to open up your uh, document root uh, and show you all the files and folder structure in your document root. I have a simple website set up here uh, in my username websites. <clears throat> host one folder with the basic uh, um, index.php and a uh, um, and a map pro logo okay so um, that's just to open up your um, uh, files your document root and if you want to get over here you can set up uh, change some settings but uh, I'm going to concentrate uh, for now on um, uh, opening the files and I'll get to the settings later Okay, so uh, upon uh, after opening it, uh, you can see your document uh, uh, root structure here. If you want to just you want to add some files, you can uh, easily do that. Uh, here, I'm just going to add a new HTML file. You can add a JavaScript, PHP, Python, whatever you want, uh, whatever you need. But this is just uh, I'm going to add a new uh, untitled uh, HTML, and uh, it's going to give you a, a basic HTML HTML um, page. Okay, so another nice feature of the editor is being able to copy some existing files quickly into your um, document root. I have host one here. This, uh, my, this is my document um, root folder, which I'm looking at in uh, the finder uh, with my uh, uh, index.php and my new untitled.html uh, file. Um, sometimes uh, you might want to quickly add, this is a, my a, a templates folder with uh, an existing um, bootstrap um, setup, I guess, if, if you will. And I can quickly drag that into uh, my document root folder and quickly have a, uh, a site which I can quickly enable bootstrap. I can also here drag in jQuery.min, uh, so if I can quickly, I guess I have to move that into my JS file, quickly, um, you know, JS folder, quickly have a uh, document root set up with um, things that I need or files that I need, and uh, quickly set up a document root folder that way. The assets feature uh, is uh, another feature that is going to allow you to utilize uh, images or videos that you use often, icons that you use often in your website, and uh, quickly move them to your um, document root uh, or current host that you're working on. Okay, so to get to the assets uh, window, you can you go to Window Assets and uh, it's uh, right now it's blank I have nothing in it so I'm going to first uh, move uh, if I have enough space here quickly something into I'm just going to drag this in not really original map pro logo 2.png so now that will always be in my assets window always um, be available so if I need to um, for instance if this was some icon that I, I needed in my website or several websites a lot, I uh, quickly have access to it and I can quickly move it into my document root so I don't have to, uh, um, well, I have quick access to it. Essentially what this uh, this is, or uh, this is just a folder in, in, your, in, your, on your, um, in your documents folder. Uh, if you go to, um, oh, I'm already here. Uh, username documents map pro assets so this folder is made for you and uh, every time you drop something into the assets folder it's going to be dro dropped into this uh, folder so you can just um, if you want to clean this out you can um, clean it out from time to time okay so one last thing uh, for the uh, basic introduction to the editor is the uh, settings you can change some settings here um, a lot of this is self-explanatory. Uh, I will just uh, go over uh, one here. You can, um, or a couple things. You can set a, a dark theme if you want. So if you open up the editor, 
you have um, a dark theme so you can change your themes change fonts change colors uh, I'll go in here and uh, change a font to um, Helvetica Noi uh, and uh, you can have different fonts different colors uh, one thing to note is if you do change the font here, it also changes it in your template file. So I guess your template files can look really cool with Helvetica Noi. Um, oh, and in a dark theme. So um, you can change the view of your template files if you would like. And that's going to do it for a basic introduction to the MAMP Pro Editor.